Hi, welcome to my video. In it, I'm going to show you how you can access uh, the BBC iPlayer application online uh, from Canada. Uh, as you can perhaps tell, I'm visiting a friend in uh, Quebec, and uh, I'm in Canada for a week or so. Uh, so I thought I'd just make this quick video and show you how to access BBC and some of the other UK TV stations. Okay, so you might have realized or come across this if you try and go into the BBC's wonderful iPlayer site from anywhere outside the United Kingdom, you get blocked. Okay, so let me just go and show you. Here's um, a program, Go Story on BBC the other week. Uh, and you try and watch it, so you'll get this little message saying BBC programs are only available to play in the UK, blah, blah, blah. What happens is it looks up your right address sees I've got a Canadian one because I'm connecting through my friend's ISP obviously and um, it won't won't let me watch it I'll get this little message here's ITV uh, let's go and watch something on ITV the X Factor and wants me to sign in and yeah you can see it's it's getting a bit worried here it's asking for my postcode doesn't quite believe I'm well let's put a postcode in a British postcode video available to play you think you've got away with it just by putting a British postcode in here but normally this is what happens it just comes up sorry this video is not available to play in your region because I'm not in the UK okay so um how do I get around it? Well, let me just show you how you can access any of these programs from um, Canada. Okay, let's just close all this down. Uh, I'm going to show you how to use the program I use all the time when I travel, and it's called Identity Cloaker. It sits down in my taskbar here. I also use it on my uh, laptop, uh, at, sorry, on my um, tablet, my iPad, and my smartphone. Okay. What it is, it's a security program that allows you to connect through a network of um, private uh, proxy servers, uh, VPN servers, all over the world. And the benefits of this, are, it's primarily sold as a security program um, because it encrypts your connection. So it allows you to connect safely to things like online banking and PayPal and stuff when you're traveling or using hotel Wi-Fi or... Um, Cafe Nero, Wi-Fi, stuff like that, you know, and, it, and it's not at all secure to connect to uh, important sites that require usernames and passwords. Uh, you can use this to secure your connection. It encrypts everything. But you also can use it for uh, accessing content in different countries because all you have to do is pick the country you want to appear to be in. So at the moment, I want to appear in the UK because I want to watch BBC iPlayer. So I double-click it. It'll now connect to a UK server and um, I'll appear to have a UK IP address even though I'm in Canada at the moment. So let me just stop it and I'll start uh, my browser again just to show you. And let's go to BBC iPlayer and we'll try and watch the same program that we watched last time. Uh, okay, we think we tried to watch this um, one on BBC. Uh, this time I'm connected through Identity Cloaker's um, UK proxy server, and it should play. And you can see it skips past the um, the IP location check. I'll just stop that, and it plays perfectly well. Okay, and I've same if I go to ITV. Du, 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 and let me just go to ITV and let's watch well, I'm a celebrity wants me to sign in uh, it's still asking me for my postcode so you can just basically put anything in there uh, this time it should no, oh, it's just saying about uh, restricted content. I didn't think uh, celebrity get me out of here was that bad, but uh, apparently it is. So and I'm playing, going through those little steps, and uh, now it plays perfectly. But as you remember before, it's um, blocked access. ITV obviously is advertisement sponsored, so you have to watch the adverts as well. Whereas BBC is uh, 
free to air and um you access it without the the um, adverts so that's all there is to it um it's very easy to use and i can click and go to a different country if i wanted to watch something maybe a french tv station uh there's a really good french tv station called m6 replay you can uh, access that by um switching to a French proxy server and you can go and watch American content by a US proxy server and stuff like that just switch wherever you want uh, I won't switch the, the at the moment the um, the fr M6 replay wouldn't work because I'm connected to a UK proxy server I'd have to go in and change it to a French um, well that's all there is to it it's a wonderful program it does have a cost to it it's a subscription service purely to pay for all the uh, servers and the bandwidth uh, but it's very reasonable, only costs uh, a couple of bucks a month, and um, it's well worth checking out. Uh, I can recommend it to anybody. There's also a discount voucher which I've got here, and you can click through and get a code which gets 15% off. That's worth using. That doesn't work off the trial account, so if you want to use the discount code, I, I try the trial first because it's 10 days and I think it's about uh, $5. Um, just to see how you get on with it and make sure it's of use to you. And if it is, come back and use the discount code on one of the longer subscriptions. Okay, well, thanks very much for watching. I hope it's been useful. I'm going to get back to enjoying Canada. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.